are at the Harley Davidson of Orlando amidst a great selection of bikes. Yeah, these bikes are amazing, huh? We're going to meet with one of the sales representatives, which his name is Doug. How are you, Doug? Hey, Jasmine. Hey, Wendy. You guys look great in those Harley Davidson outfits. So do you. Thank you. So show me, Doug, what are the hottest motorcycles? Well, let me show you this bike right here. What we have is a Dyna Screaming Eagle 105th anniversary. This motorcycle is chromed out. It's been dipped in chrome. It's two up, and you will have hours of riding pleasure. What engine size is this? This engine is 110 cubic inches. And that's about 1800 cc. So show me the more styles. We have here is brand new 2008. It is the Softail Rocker. This baby has a free floating seat. It's two up. You can also hide the seat under the seat, under the rider seat, like this. Take it right off. Pop this baby up. Hide this under here. Slide this seat in right here, and you are a single rider. Muy stranos más. Seguro. Sigan por aquí. What we have here, ladies, is a fully dressed Electroglide Screaming Eagle 110 cubic inch motor. This baby has everything. Stereo, CB, trunk space, room for everyone, ride for hours, feel good. This is a Torah craft, huh? This is the top of the top. Oh, wow. This baby's got speakers in the front and back. It's got a full AM, FM radio and a CD radio. It goes about, I'd say, 97 miles an hour top speed. Wow. And how adjustable is this motorcycle for different, you know, type of bodies like men, women? This motorcycle is very adjustable. There's a book about this thick. You can change out every single piece on this motorcycle. The seat, the hand grips. Mm -hmm. Foot pegs here, everything. You make it your own custom motorcycle. Oh, yes. Actually, that was one of the questions I was going to ask you. Is uh, how many models come in, you know, for Harley Davidson? How many models? Oh, that's a really good question. We have our Sportster models, we have our Dyna models, we have our Softail models, and our Touring models. So you ask for the model and then you make it like custom made or how this works? No, the, the bikes come stock. I left out one model. We have our, our new model. VRSCs, those are our V rods, and they have the brand new revolution motor for Harley Davidson. That's the motor of the future. And you just make it your own with different other details. That's right, it's like a Lego. You can take off different pieces and add on another piece. Oh, it's that easy. That's cool. So, why don't we go over and look at the revolution motor, the future yeah. of Harley Davidson motors? I like the sport ones. <laughs> Here is the Night Rod Special. This comes in black with an orange stripe, a black on black stripe, and also comes in a, a flat matte paint. Oh, yes. Like that one yeah, right there. This has the new motor in there, the Revolution motor. It's a 1250cc, five speed. Wow. So, what is the difference between these motorcycles and the ones that you just showed me. Well the really main difference is that this engine is water cooled which is something new for Harley Davidson. Oh, I didn't know. And is it chain or belt? This is a belt driven motorcycle as well as the other three. Oh. It, so this is like the sport version of the Harley Davidson, right? Yes, this is the sport version of the Harley Davidson. You wow. got it. Okay, so we have a we have them all, huh? <laughs> So thank you so much. No problem. Doug. Thank you very much. My name's Doug, and I'll be more than happy to take care of
Stevens can not only fit you to the perfect bike, but they can make you look the part from head to toe. Let's see what they have over here. Come on, follow me. We're now here with Jennifer, who's in charge of motor clothes. Can you tell us a few secrets about what is the safest thing to wear on the road? Leathers are pretty much your safest bet. Um, the asphalt's not very forgiving, but the leather does add a lot of protection for your elbow. Full finger gloves as well are um, safe when we fall. We fall usually palms down. Um, jeans, jeans are great for being on the road. Uh, helmets, helmets are very important. No bikinis on the road? No bikinis on the road, not unless you want some road rash. <laughs> so what is the hottest fashion right now on the road besides what do you have to offer in terms of leathers? We have leather chaps, we have leather jackets, we have vests, um, we have leather hats, um, boots, leather boots are very important. Got my own pair. <laughs> very nice. Well, let's go look at the leathers. Okay, this way. So who designs these clothes? Well, we have a headquarters and they they come up with the designs, I'm sure, with a lot of input from customers. Being in Florida and we have a lot of rain, what do you recommend we wear? Um, we have a couple of different rain suits. Uh, being in Florida, we have little room on our bikes, so we have a couple of packable rain suits. This is a very nice packable rain suit. It's packed in its hood. Very compact. Very compact. Very great for the road and for Florida. It's breathable and it's rainproof and the pants are here. Very this nice. is reflective. Very nice. And we also have what we call rain gaiters. <laughs> you put these on, these protect your boots and they keep your boots. Every girl's dream. Exactly. It's all about safety and fashion. Thank you, Jennifer, for showing us around the store. Thank you, Whitney. It was a pleasure. Walk Street, Orlando. Hi. Hello. We're now here with a Harley Davidson customer. So, how's it feel to buy your very first bike, or is it your first bike? It is my first Harley. It's my second motorcycle within the last two years. Wow. First bike was a Honda Rebel. I've had it for about a year and a half, put over 20,000 miles on it. So, so drive safely. Well, I will. And have fun. Oh, I'll definitely have a blast. Where is the first place you're going to go on your bike? Uh, considering it's raining, I'm probably more likely going to go home. <laughs> then tomorrow I'm going to wake up in the morning, go to work, and rub it in the boss's face as I bought a Harley. Hi, we're now here with the director of the Rider Safety Program. Hola, como estan? Me llamo Michelle. Hi, Michelle. So, we all have this burning question. Why are you called, why are the motorcycles called hogs? Actually, that's quite an interesting story. Back in the early 1900s, when Harley Davidson first put together their racing team, they had a pig as a mascot. And then in 1983, the word hog was adopted by the Harley Owners Group, set now celebrating their 25th anniversary. Oh, well, congratulations. Thank you. And I understand you have a driver safety program that you started? Yes, as a matter of fact, we are the largest school in the nation for rider education based in any Harley-Davidson dealership. It's a three-day course and we can teach anybody to ride. Oh, don't you ride motorcycles? Yes, I do and I actually took it uh, years ago, like around 97, I think I took mine. And guys, you always have to do it. Even for those guys that say that, oh, I ride already, no, it's always good to take that course. So Michelle, how many women comes now to the stores? I see that now there's so many different, you know, attires for women, uh, you know, gear for, for women. So uh, how do you describe how many girls are coming now to the stores? We're probably seeing about one third of our ridership right now in our rider education classes. Our women now getting into motorcycling. It represents the largest single demographic group in the nation right now, women riding. And say for someone our size, what type of bike would we ride? I could probably see you on a Harley Davidson Soft Tail Deluxe. Oh, well, now you know. Not Does it come sure. in pink? <laughs> if you can dream it, we can build it. <laughs> and guys, stay tuned because we have another mission to accomplish here at Walk Street. Walk Street.